What's up everybody? Welcome to the Stocks Channel. My name is Corey and today in the stock market we had a very bullish day across the board for all indices and all sectors. What does this bullish price action day mean going into the rest of the week? Are we about to see all time highs? First up, let's take a look at the S&P 500 SPY ETF. So let's crack open this chart and see what's going on in the stock market today. All right, so today on SPY, we did go up about 0.95% and we did bounce off of that support level down below right around that $412 support level. We closed back above the 5 EMA, so we're back into an S&P 500 market that has bullish price action above all moving averages with a very strong bull trend. We did have some relatively light volume today, but keep in mind that the market takes the stairs up and the elevator down and we're still likely going to continue to take the stairs up, which is low volume melt up. That means we don't need a lot of buyers to continue to bring the market higher as long as we don't see high volume selling. So we did get that really nice pullback that we were expecting. And remember that most pullbacks typically last two to three days. And we did get a little more than two days of selling because we did gap down in the morning. So with today's price action, it does look like the pullback is possibly over because the price action did close above yesterday's highs. So we had a very strong bullish close and we're now just a stick throw away to breaking back above to new all time highs. So we will still have resistance right around 417. But if we break above 417, we have the next price target above at 420. A break and close over 420 means we could be heading all the way up to spy levels of 426. So right now, I think we're more likely going to hit the price target at 420 and possibly see another pullback to retest the support levels we just bounced off of. And then we could see that run up to 426. However, we'll let the price action do all the talking because we don't like to make too many assumptions, even though we do expect to see the price action going higher. Remember, we're being a bull in a bull market because we have strong bullish price action and strong bullish trending across the board. Downside support levels for SPY are now going to be at 415, 412, and then down here around 408. The 20 simple moving average continues to climb and it's now sitting somewhere around $406. Remember the gap below at 400 is not likely going to get filled until we get a stock market correction. A stock market correction won't likely come until we get up to SPY levels of 426. So let that gap be a thing of the past and don't overly focus on that level because it's going to distract you from this next run up that we're about to have in the market. Remember SPY would need to break and close below the 20 simple moving average down around 406 to even start reversing this bullish trend. While that is possible, it's not likely and the path of least resistance is still up in this bull market. We would need to get to some of these price targets to trigger more selling unless we see something shifting in the market, which we have yet to see. On the NASDAQ 100 Triple Qs ETF, we bounced off that support level at 334 practically perfectly today and we got a very strong bounce with a lot of buyers stepping in. That was really good news and it does look like the NASDAQ 100 also has that pullback that is now complete and we're ready to go to all time highs. We did close back above the 5 EMA and the NASDAQ 100 is still maintaining a very strong bull trend. So we still need to break back above the previous all time high of 342 with immediate price targets around 343 and 345. The price target we're looking for on the triple Qs to hit next is going to be up here at 350. The downside support levels I want you to pay attention to are right around 339, 334, the gap close at 332.50 and the 20 simple moving average support level right around 330. Just like with the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100 would need to close back below the 20 simple moving average for this bull market to start reversing. Path of least resistance is still up in this bull market and we do have big tech earnings coming up next week. So we should see a nice bullish rally going into earnings. And obviously, depending how well those earnings reports go, we could see selling or we could continue to go even higher. So right now, the price action and the trend do confirm that we have a higher probability to continue to see higher prices in this market. On the Dow Jones, we went up 0.94% today and got right back up to that previous all time high level right around 341. A break and close over 341 means we're very likely going to the next price target above at 347. Downside support is going to be around 340, 337 and the 20 simple moving average at 335. On the Russell 2000, we had a very bullish candle today going up over 2.4%. You can see that was somewhat of a false breakdown yesterday because we did close below the 50 EMA and all of that was erased with today's bullish candle closing back above all of the moving averages in just one day. This is why I always say you need to wait for a confirmation of a breakout because if you tried to short the Russell 2000 on yesterday's close, you lost your shirt today on this very bullish candle. So we did blast right above all of those resistance levels and we are getting a little bit of a breakout look yet again on the Russell 2000. Remember the Russell 2000 has been the laggards in this market and eventually they will likely rejoin the bull rally and they will start breaking out. 
So watch the price action very closely because we did close back above all the moving averages today. The next resistance levels to watch on the Russell 2000 are going to be right around 224 and then 227. If we start breaking back above 227, it will look like the Russell 2000 is going back into a bull market and I will favor the Russell 2000 to start breaking out to new all-time highs. Downside support is going to be the 20 simple moving average at 221 and the 50 EMA right around 219. On the ARK ETF, we finally see Kathy Wood catching a break today going up over 2.3%. We did close back above the 20 simple moving average, but below all of the other moving averages and still closing below the 50 EMA. There's no trend for the bears or the bulls and ARK continues to just chop around down here. We would need to see price action closes back above the 50 EMA at 125 to get ARK going back into a bull market. So downside support levels are going to be 120 and the gap close at 115 with our support trend line right around 113. The only upside resistance that we need to pay attention to right now is around 125 and we need to get a couple breaks and closes over that level to get Art K going back to the bull side. Right now there's no clear trend in either direction so be patient on Art K even though it is more than likely going to eventually join the bull rally in the rest of the market if we continue to see this market rally to all time highs. Next up is the VIX which is our fear indicator and we do see positive correlation with the VIX and the market today with the VIX going down over 6%. The VIX closed back below that resistance level at 18.2 and that level did not act as support. So overall, remember that a low VIX is low fear and low fear means we're likely going to all time highs. So that VIX spike was likely just due to the pullback, but now that the pullback is over, we're likely going to see the VIX continue to bleed out and go back towards those levels around 16. Remember if the VIX does continue to spike and going into the 20s, that will increase the probability that this pullback is not over and we could go into a deeper correction. But right now the VIX is saying that fear is leaving the market and the pullback is over and the market's ready to go to all time highs. On gold we had a very bullish day today, bouncing off of that support level at 1776 and then running off for the races. We're starting to develop a bullish trend on gold and the price action continues to close over the 50 EMA. The next price target I want you to pay attention to on gold is up here at 1829 with downside support right around 1776. On silver we also had a very bullish day today getting to that next price target above at 2650. That could be a support level now with the next price target up here at 2764. Downside support levels to watch are 2650 and the 50 EMA down here at 2570. On Bitcoin, we currently have bad news for the bulls and Bitcoin is currently down over 4% and trading below the 50 EMA critical support level of 55,000. Remember, if Bitcoin gets a daily close below the 50 EMA, the selling volume is really going to pick up and we're likely going to see that Bitcoin correction. The critical support level to watch for now is right around 51,000. If that level breaks down, we're likely going to drop to 45,000 in a hurry. And if 45,000 breaks down, we're likely going all the way back to $30,000. So there's still a lot of risk in Bitcoin. So don't get overly bullish on Bitcoin until we finally find out where this bottom is going to be. Just remember from my weekend video, I said assume that the whole month of April is a correction month and we still have a little more than a week left in the month. So be patient and wait to see where Bitcoin is ultimately going to find support at. Upside resistance is now going to be 55,700 and the 20 simple moving average right around 59,000. Also note that the trend is slowly building up a bearish trend and the price action is below all of the moving averages. That is how bear markets start. So make sure you're protecting your risk to the downside. Next up is Amazon stock and we see Amazon going up over 0.8% today, closing back above all of the moving averages, but still trading below that resistance trend line. Resistance breakout is now going to be right around 3374 with the next price target above at 3442 and 3483. Downside support is going to be 3320, 3297 and the 20 simple moving average at 3250. Next up is Tesla stock and we see Tesla having a great day today going up 3.5% and closing back above all the moving averages. Remember we need to see Tesla continue to close over the 50 EMA at $700 to slowly and surely build up a bullish trend. Tesla is doing everything it needs to do and we can see the bull market is slowly but surely returning to Tesla stock. We are closing above that support level at 720 and we just need the 20 simple moving average to cross back above the 50 EMA and then Tesla will be in a full bull trend. We do have earnings coming up and that's definitely going to play an important role in a stock like Tesla. Upside resistance is right at 762 and 802. Remember we need to break out of the resistance trend line to get a full bull market going back in Tesla and that level is right around 765. On Apple stock we went up 0.29% today closing right on top of the 5 EMA and right below that next resistance level at 134. If Apple can break and close over 134 it's likely going to get to the next price target in a hurry at 137. Downside support is going to be 131, 
130, and the gap closed at 128, which is also where that 20 simple moving average is. Also note that today the 20 simple moving average did cross back above the 50 EMA, so we now have a full bull trend on Apple. Apple is a market moving stock, so if it's going back into a full bull trend and it's likely going to higher prices, expect the rest of the stock market to go to all time highs as well. Next up is the financial sector, and we see financials closing back above all the moving averages today and holding on to that bullish trend. On the industrial sector, we went up over 1.3% today, closing back above all the moving averages and holding on to that strong bull trend. On the healthcare sector, we see it closing at all time highs yet again, closing way above the 5 EMA and outside the upper Bollinger Band and maintaining a very strong bull trend. On the energy sector, we went up over 1.2% today, closing back below the 50 EMA, but still having a relatively bullish day. We need to see energy getting back above the 50 EMA and trying to break out to go back into a bull market. So going back to the S&P 500, you can still see that we're in a very strong bull market. All of the sectors are looking very bullish with the exception of the energy sector, which has the least amount of weight in the S&P 500. The VIX is back below resistance and it's heading lower, which means fear is leaving the market yet again. That pullback is likely over and we are due for all time highs if we continue at this rate. Remember, watch buy level very closely at 420 because if we do break above 420, we're likely going to 426. Don't forget I have the Stocks Channel Discord where I'm giving you intraday updates and analysis throughout the day to help you stay on the right side of the market and always prepare you for what's coming. I'm also bringing new trade ideas to you weekly. If you're interested in joining the Stocks Channel Discord trading community, you can find out how to join by clicking on the link in the description of the video. Next up is our trade idea Shopify and we see Shop going up 1.7% today. We did close that gap yesterday and we did bounce off that support level at 11.11 for two days in a row. So is Shopify going to start breaking out and getting back above the 50 EMA at 11.75? Only time will tell, but right now your risk is defined on a close below 1100. Right now Shop is doing everything it needs to do to start bouncing off of the support level and trying to go back into a bull trend. We do have earnings coming up very soon and we do have quite a few price targets yet that we haven't yet hit. In order for Shopify to remain bullish, we need to get back above 1175 and start getting to these next price targets at 1203 and 1260. We don't have any defined trend right now, so watch the price action very closely at these critical levels of 1100 and 1175. A break over 1175 is bullish, and a break below 1100 is bearish. So remember, we're going to continue to cover Shopify until we hit the rest of these price targets or we get stopped out on a bearish close below support. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're crushing this market. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.